whenever you are anxious, I just want you to remember that Christ did not give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us love, he gave us peace and sound mind. As we are meditating on the word of God today, I'm here to give you some scripture to deal with your stress. I want to give you some scripture that will help you to undo your stress. I'm going to give you these scriptures because I believe that God's word always brings us peace. I believe that these scriptures will help you to release your stress and your worry to God. In the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 to 30, the word of the Lord says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. This is the word of God. Hand over your burden to him. In the book of Psalm 55, verse 22, the word of the Lord says, Give your burdens to the Lord, and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to sleep and fall. My friend, give your burdens to the Lord today. He will take care of you. He cares for you. In the book of Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25, the word of the Lord says, Anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. As this word of God is coming to you right now, God will make you glad. Get ready, you will rejoice. Every situation that you are going through right now, we turn to praise. It will end in praise. It will end in gladness. It will end in joy. Get ready. Your season of joy has come. In Psalm 119, verse 143, the word of the Lord says, Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your commandments are my delight. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your commandments and my delight. As you are meditating on the word of God right now, I see trouble going out of your life. Joy is coming back to your life. Peace is coming back to your life. I see restoration coming back to your life. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, the word of the Lord says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In the book of Psalm 94, verse 19, the word of the Lord says, In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comfort delight my soul. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comfort delight my soul. You see, God is our comforter. He will comfort you today. He will comfort you on every side. In Psalm 118, verse 5 to 6, the word of the Lord says, I call on the Lord in this race. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Today, as you are calling on the Lord in your this race, He will answer you. He will not abandon his work. He will not leave you alone. He will not forsake you. In the book of Luke chapter 21, verse 19, the word of the Lord says, By your pieces, possess your souls. By your pieces, possess your souls. In the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, the word of the Lord says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Don't be afraid. God has given you a promise to uphold you. God has given you a promise to be on your side. Don't be afraid. In Psalm 56 verse 3, the word of the Lord says, Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Are you afraid right now? Put your trust in God. He cares for you. That is how to handle your stress. That is how to handle the burden of life. 
whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. Do your part by putting your trust in God today and let God do his part. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. In the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 15, the word of the Lord says, And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. In the book of John chapter 14, verse 27, the word of the Lord says, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. God is talking to you right now. Don't be troubled. Don't be afraid. In the book of Psalm 23, verse 1 to 6, the word of the Lord says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. In the book of James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, the word of the Lord says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. In the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 2, the word of the Lord says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's way for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think, then you will learn to know God's way for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 6, the word of the Lord says, So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 to 8, the word of the Lord says, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a running lion, seeking whom he may devour. The Bible is talking to you right now to cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13, the word of the Lord says, Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. The book of Romans chapter 16, verse 20 says, The God of peace will soon cross Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. The God of peace will soon cross Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. The book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 
In the book of Romans chapter 16, verse 3, the word of the Lord says, Commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. Commit your actions to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 to 6, the word of the Lord says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? In the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 28, the word of the Lord says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. You are my shelter from the storm. You keep me safe inside your wings. You are my